And I'm Marie Waxel. At 5 o'clock tonight, protesters will fill Huntsville City Square. Now, Huntsville City Council members are trying to hold the city and its police force accountable for their actions. In fact, a member of Huntsville City Council will introduce a resolution for police review at tonight's City Council meeting. Way 31's Rodney Ross is live for us this morning at City Hall with a look into that resolution and what we can expect at the meeting this evening. Rodney. Well, it's quiet outside of City Hall right now, but that's likely not going to be the case later tonight. That's because uh, there's going to be a peaceful protest that's going to happen right before the City Council meeting where people will be able to come and share their thoughts with city leaders. District 2 Council Member Francis Ackridge will present the resolution at tonight's City Council meeting. The resolution will call for the Huntsville Police Citizens Advisory Council to review the actions of Huntsville Police during protests that took place from May 30th to June 5th. We learned from Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle that the Huntsville Police Department began reviewing their response to the protest the day after the protest happened. He says it's also important to have someone represent the community to give them a voice. We need to listen. Uh, we need to listen to the people and what they have to say, and I think this Thursday night will be a listening session for us. At the meeting tonight, the Huntsville Police Chief is expected to present the protocols police used during the protest and why they made the decisions that they made. City Council will vote at their meeting on June 25th whether or not to approve the advisory board. Now, tonight's City Council meeting will be here at City Hall at 5.30, and right before that at 5, there will be a peaceful protest uh, right here again outside of City Hall. We will have uh, reporters here for both the protest and that City Council meeting. Reporting live in Huntsville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News.